They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. You're probably wondering, what's the special occasion? Well, let's take it back to the beginning. I'm out here looking like somebody's auntie. I'm on my way to my grandparents' house. Today is my grandma's 80th birthday party, and I'm really excited. Sorry, taking the exit. I'm really excited because number one, it's like 80 years old. That's such a blessing. I hope I live a long, healthy life. However, 80 years old, like I'm just like, to me it's so un unimaginable. Like, dang son! Dang son! I mean, if you gonna try to like speed up, speed up for real, don't speed up for fake. Was I? I'm excited because 80 years old is definitely a blessing. And also, just being able to come together and celebrate her making it to 80 years old is also very exciting. I know she's excited. She's been on like edge since the planning has started. I'm just ready to see this day play out and have fun, be with my family, eat some food. This outfit that I'm wearing is not like really significant, but like if I got like a bloated stomach, it's not gonna be cute. Definitely like, I wouldn't say been on starvation mode, but I've definitely been kind of a little bit more conscious with, you know, my eating this week. So I can be nice and skinty for this outfit. We'll see. To get back to my grandma, I'm going over there before the party starts because the, my grandparents are popping. Big Al and Gertie Poo, they're the life of the party. They're going to be the subject of the party. So I know everybody and their mama is going to be in their face trying to talk to them. So I want to go over their house before the party so I can talk to them, hang out with them before everything starts, um, see where their head is at. Uh, I love talking to my grandparents. I think that although we have extreme cultural differences, me being a millennial and them being, I don't think they're baby boomers. They're probably older than baby boomers. I don't even know what a baby boomer and what year that is, to be honest. Being that we are kind of like different culturally, um, I still, I, I value their advice. I value their outlooks. I value their perspectives. And although they sometimes differ, I still, you know, take them in consideration and just, I, I don't know, I learn from them. And I think that's another reason why I truly like going over there and hanging out with them because they're a good time and I learn. Um, but I'm really excited to, you know, see my grandma how she's going to act on this camera. It's not burning, but you probably still hear products. <laughs> well, that's the smell I never heard of smell it before. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful grandma shows your age. Yes, Grandma. You, you look so cute. No, you look cute. Yeah. So, I, Grandma, you're beautiful. Why you feel grateful? Because you all are blessing me. What do you want to leave with the younger Granddaddy? Hold on, Granddaddy. Can you press mute? So, Grandma, what do you want to leave with the younger generation? 
leave all the money I stacked up. So I'll keep your body, all right? Surprise, I ain't got no money. <laughs> but it, Any words of wisdom? Yes, from the word it says that, that you know, I, I gave my life to the Lord when I was 21. And it ended up, you know, the verse was, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, then all things will be added unto you. And when I did do that that day, well, hey, here I am, giving 80 years for the day. I'm 80 years old and getting ready to be celebrated by young people like you and the one that's doing my hair. That's amazing. What's the question again? <laughs> if this was your last statement, like what would be your words of wisdom to leave? Is to continue to seek the Lord and his righteousness righteousness and then all things will be added unto you not only that God's word it's word we, we have to make sure we on the right page every day connected with him because it's exciting I mean I I don't know how old y'all gonna live to be but me being 80 years old I, I'm having flashbacks to realize that from a little girl all the way up to 80 years old that ain't nothing but all my mother's prayers answered and the Lord has answered mine. I mean, not that I really want to get to be 80. <laughs> <laughs> but he has answered my prayer every day when I realize I'm out of my sleep, coming out of the bed and I'm waking up. And then a brand new day, oh man. I just have to thank him because that's the thing to do. Make sure you're connected with the true and living God because I've never seen Jesus. I'm not looking for him down here. But uh, he does says unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time, not because of sin, but unto salvation. Gee whiz. Now, tell me you're going to do this because you can catch me all God. <laughs> Because I want to be beautiful first. You are beautiful, Grandma. Take the me. reason I got you on here now because I know everybody and their mama is going to be in your face. I'm recording. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's going to be in your face at this party. So I wanted to get you now before all the hype happens oh, to get your words of wisdom. Yeah. And I mean, I'm really not getting that much of your hair in there. And you're beautiful regardless. You know what I mean? People tell me you're really cute. Oh, <laughs> you're really cute. Y'all stop lying then. Lord Ooh, look at these little babies. Don't take the picture Ooh, of my honey, lady. Can I put some lotion in there? <laughs> you need some stop. lotion, baby. Stop, stop, don't do that. Stop, stop. I'm wearing a long skirt. Scott, go, go, go to the way it got Oh, uh, trust me, I got a zoom up on it. Yeah, that's when I ran into something else. You was um, 11 years old, yeah. and you had a boyfriend, and yeah. he told you, was it comic books? Yeah, I had comic books. His comments. Yeah, I love that story. And you were ran it, running in the back of a truck or something. Ran into and ran it had that sharp shot. thing. Yeah. 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 On the front of the truck. Yeah, you remember, huh? Remember, I love your stories. I've been hearing them since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's okay, Grandma. <laughs> You're not very shiny. It's not shiny. You, you, you don't get but it. you look really handsome, Granddaddy. The secret, what will be your secret that you would want to leave? Me. To live to a blessed life. <laughs> yeah. Blessed life. To the younger generation. To the younger generation. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your body and mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. My grandparents have been saying these things to me for as long as I can remember. I wanted to get this on camera because it is profound. Not only because it is the truth, but also because I was blessed with grandparents who have so much love in their hearts to pass down the truth to me. I thank God for that.
as we all came together on this rainy day to celebrate my Gertie Poo, I can't help but feel overwhelmed and grateful. Yo, my family is like mad dope. Like, look at this. I bring you this video to encourage you to cherish these moments. Like, whatever you find them with, whoever you find them with, hold on to it, live in that moment because they're, they are truly special.